Salesforce's Hyperforce includes improvements in multiple areas for customers. And one of them is how HTTPS certificates are organized. With this improvement, some customers may need to do some extra preparations for their rocks to be ready for Hyperforce. In Hyperforce, each featured domain uses a separate HTTPS certificate. Seeing those certificates require web browsers and API clients to send the server name indication extension within their TLS client hello messages to Hyperforce. When accessing host names other than mydomain.my.salesforce.com or mydomain double dash sandbox name dot sandbox dot my dot salesforce.com. In Hyperforce, the default HTTPS certificate used when SNI isn't present is one that supports mydomain.my.salesforce.com and mydomain sandbox name dot sandbox dot my dot salesforce.com. This helps maximize compatibility with existing API clients as some older API clients may not include SNI in their TLS client hello messages. The good news is most modern web browsers consistently include SNI in their TLS client hello messages. And in all Salesforce host names other than my.salesforce.com and sandbox.my.salesforce.com are typically assessed when using web browsers instead of API clients. So this won't affect our customers' day-to-day -day access of Salesforce services. However, some API clients may access an AUX host name other than my.salesforce.com and sandbox.my.salesforce.com. And those API clients will need to include SNI in their TLS client hello messages to be compatible with Hyperforce. For customers using Salesforce experience sites, or Salesforce sites with a custom domain via the customer's own content delivery network account or service. A special consideration exists with CDNs that either don't support SNI or when SNI is enabled, send the custom domain hostname as the SNI hostname instead of the origin of force.com hostname or my domain hostname. CDNs of that type will generally need to be configured to not send SNI, and instead expect to see an HTTPS certificate that includes mydomain.my.salesforce.com in its subject alternative names list. If you require further assistance on this topic, please contact Salesforce customer support.